Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I achieve this popping Tiana's Hella Inspired color, just keep on watching. So here's the supplies you're going to need. A coloring bowl, a tinting brush, and you can pick up all these supplies at your local beauty supply store. Enlightener, and this is BW2. Developer, and I'm using a 40 volume. Semi-permanent color, and I use the Adore brand, and this is Paprika and Cajun Spice. And gloves. You don't forget gloves, because you don't want the bleach to mess your hands up. So this is my little setup. I have a trash bag on top of my table, and I'm just going to start mixing together the Enlightener and the Developer. And the consistency you want is creamy. You don't want it to be too thick, but then you don't want it to be too loose either. And as you can see, mine turned out to be a bit too loose. And that's okay. That's totally fine. You just fix that by applying more enlightener. So I am going to dye my hair while it's a wig. I had already made it so I'm like, it's no point in me taking the hair out and then dyeing it. So we're going to do this. So I'm just going to start by brushing it out, make sure there's no tangles and no knots in it. And I'm also going to dye my closure. But yeah, you just want to brush the hair out, make sure it's all nice and smooth. And since it is on the wig, what I'm going to do is just separate each track and lay it flat on the surface and then apply the bleach. So I'm going to brush it again just to make sure all the tangles and everything is out. You want to make sure the hair is laid flat so you can apply the bleach evenly on the hair. And I'm just going to start at the ends and work my way up. There's no specific reason, this is just the way I like to do it. So I'm going to stop talking now and just let you guys watch.
So I had to keep making more quite a bit. But that's okay because you want to make sure you get all the strands. So I really did go through the whole entire bucket. Sometimes the bleach doesn't seep through the hair on the back so you have to remember to flip the hair over and apply bleach on the back as well. And now I'm just flipping it back over and applying the enlightener throughout the rest of the hair. So now you want to check through the hair and make sure all the areas you want to bleach is well saturated. I kind of wanted it streaky so I left some hairs not as light as others so that's why you see the two tone kind of. So this is how the hair looked after I washed and conditioned it. So now I'm just going to lay it out and start applying the hair color and you do want to apply the color while the hair is damp. So I'm just going to mix these two colors together in the same bowl I used previously. Of course you have to wash it first but you're just going to mix the two together and apply it to the damp hair. So that's pretty much it for the dyeing process guys. All you have to do is just apply the dye to the damp hair and rinse it out afterwards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to see the final results. So you just guys just see how I bleached and dyed this hair. And this is the end result. All I did was blow dry and put a few curls in it and I absolutely love how it came out. This is so perfect for springtime and it's not the same exact color to the T of Tiana Taylor's color but I think it's still bomb and it's so close to it. So if you guys recreate this look please mention me in my DMs or tag me. Don't be shy. Follow me. All that good stuff because I would love to see them. And then I am going to do a quick review final review of this hair since I dyed it um I would say not much has changed like it's still soft it's still bomb like it really is still bomb the only thing is um I am kind of getting um a few more shedding than I was before um it's probably because you know I did bleach the hair and bleach can damage hair quite a bit so I'm not really you know, I'm not really bugging about the shedding. Like, it's okay. Like, it's not shedding. I'm not getting ball spots. And it's not shedding, like, a whole lot. So, it's fine with me. Also, um, I would say it is a little dry since when, um, when I first got it. But, 
like I said, I did bleach it and that's bound to happen. That happens to real hair as well. So that's fine with me. So here's a more up close view. It's the closure. And you. Yeah. All you have to do is just keep it moisturized, keep it conditioned, or you would and you're fine so this hair is still bomb it's still soft it's still tangle free and i still love it so i do recommend this hair you guys if you a lot of you guys been asking me to do an updated review and things like that so here it is i recommend it i vouch for it this hair is bomb go get it so i hope you enjoy my channel i hope you enjoyed this look I see you in my next video.